Did it. Did it. Did it. Did it. What the fox? What fox? Fat fox! Charge fox? Charge fox? Let me show you. I pulled the wrong phone out. <laughs> Hey, how's it going everyone? And welcome to episode two of the EV app series. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through the phone app called ChargeFox. My name's Salan and this is Juice Garage. ChargeFox is one of Australia's largest charging networks and they have a bunch of different charging stations. Now, the easiest way to identify which one belongs to ChargeFox is to just look for the orange Fox logo. Now the ChargeFox app is available both on Android and Apple devices, so go ahead and download it from the App Store because it's completely free to use. Once you open it up, you'll be greeted by the Maps page. Now if you want to find your location quickly, just tap on the bottom right icon. Now on the map you'll see that for the most part you've got a bunch of orange icons. Now the ones without any logos on them are general charging stations which are roughly under the 30 kilowatt mark and anything identified with a lightning bolt tends to be one of the more powerful ones. So for in this case, a 50 kilowatt. But the most powerful ones are, are shown by the lightning bolt with three strikes next to it. If I tap on this, you'll see that it's actually a 350 kilowatt charger. So now I'll tap onto the charging station itself. And as you can see, it's given me the address for the charging station, as well as the cost to use it per kilowatt hour. Now underneath that, it'll also show you briefly the type of compatible socket for the charging station as well. Now, if I want more information, I can go into the details tab and it'll show me more about the particular charging station itself, as well as the cost and which ports are currently available or might be faulty. Now, if I tap on the menu section on the top left, we can see we've got the profile section, your charge history, help and support, some about which is basically the software update that you're on and how to sign out out of the account but first let's go into the my profile section so here you can enter in your own personal details and details about your car so in our case i've got it set up for a byd at 03. under that we've got rfid cards so if you like you can actually request an rfid card for the charge fox network now what's the benefit of this well basically let's say you're in a car park where there's no phone reception or you just prefer using a card rather than having to open up the app itself, you can just tap your card on the charging station and it'll allow you to use it. Now, if you decide to sign up for a membership program with ChargeFox, you can enter in those details here as well. And you can also put in your credit card details because some of these charges do require payment. So the next one is the charge history. Now, this will just basically show you what you've done in the past using the ChargeFox network. Then you've got help and support. So if you've got any questions, you can actually ring up their support line, which is available 24 seven and get some assistance with the phone app or this charging station that you might be using. So now let me go show you how to use this app in the real world. All right, so now we're at these ChargeFox charging stations here in Granville. And what I'm gonna show you is how to unlock it and charge up your car. So in this case, what you first wanna do is check that you're at the correct charging station. So in this case, mine's 3125. And as you can see on the app, that's the one that's currently available. I'm gonna hit unlock on that. And now you see the lights start flashing. You can grab your cable, come over to your car, simply open it up, take off the latch. And then all we have to do is wait for it to connect and start charging up. So now you can see on the phone app, it actually says charging your car, consumption, it'll load in a bit, and the time elapsed will be how long you've been charging it for. So then once you finish, you'll be prompted with a screen. Now in this case, we're just doing a demonstration, so it says free and we haven't used it for any time at all, but it'll say you're good to go. You can pull out your charger and leave it back on top. Moving the cable to the side. And then that's it. So that was a quick walkthrough of the ChargeFox app. Now, if you have any questions about anything that we went over today, just leave it down in the comment section below. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one.